The European Commission has come up with several regulations these last five years. One is all on, on the Digital Service Act and to get some sort of regulation when it comes, generally speaking, to the information infrastructure. But for the first time, there is also an attempt to get a law on media, European Media Freedom Act, it is called. And together with civil society groups, with media freedom organizations, um, the European Broadcasting Union um, and digital rights groups, and very much under the, the excellent coordination of um, Laura specifically, we have now for the last two years prior to, to the proposal by the European Commission, but specifically and very intensively this last year's when um, the European Parliament has been trying to improve a text which was politically welcomed but not strong enough, while the Council, the 27 member states, you can imagine, were not all so happy to, to regulate media. So we had to convince the member states that indeed it's time to do something on media freedom. There has been enough monitoring done. We have done a yearly rule of law reports that show that it's not only media freedom itself, but that our democracy are at stake, that the rule of law on which the European Union and all democracies are based on are at stake. And in the end, that European integration is at stake. Also with the uh, more and more disinformation, you know it all, which is, is facing our very fragile ecosystems. I think within this year, we also had a breakfast meeting where we finally met because we had so many online meetings. And I have had rarely such a good atmosphere among very different organizations that all stick to the same goals and that transparently work together. Laura has put a lot of information together and, and, and made lists for us what to do and to remind us what we have to do. And I'm sure we would not have been where we are right now without that excellent work. So I want to congratulate the GFMD for that, but also happy to, to maybe give advice for other regions, even if you don't have such regulatory schemes, but to see how together you can, you can better improve the situation of, of independent media and journalism as a public.